Rich, obviously, if we were going to test this theory, we'd need some sort of blocker. I'm not irresponsible. Listen, right? I, I hey, Something listen. With a base. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doubting the strength of your glutes. What I'm stating is the circumference of your asshole. It's huge. I guarantee it. You stick stuff up your butt all the time. <laughs> That's your problem. Got a big asshole. That's your problem. Big asshole. You got a big asshole. Large, large rectum. That's large rectum. It's gonna get out. I don't think so. I. I, I think don't think so. Uh, I think my rectum is a perfectly acceptable size. Yeah. I'll even go so far as I think it's cute. Ew. It's cute. Okay. Wax it. Bleach, bleach it. it. Ooh. Looks From the right. few times I've seen it, I mean, mind you, if I'm looking, usually something's going on where I'm like... <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're bending over in front of the mirror trying to <laughs> get a glimpse. Yeah. You're like, Something, something's wrong here. Is that a hemorrhoid? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Disgusting. That way, whatever. I'm old now. Get old. So, yeah, I, I gotta get my standing desk going again because I my back I would sit down way too much. Oh, it's by oh. hell. Wait, we, we drove up the sit big down. white twice today, and my back fucking dead, toasted. Oh. Toasted. Well, toasted. Yeah, those are Jesus. mighty uncomfortable buses too. Is it yeah. is it something to do like in the, like honestly? Because I was talking about this pre-show. I was like, within the last two weeks, lumbar support huge. I had to go and get my other chair from inside because like, i can't sit anymore like this it's like it hurts Buddy, just our, our bodies are deteriorating and dying yeah that's true slowly one day at a time yeah oh, yeah weird <laughs> yeah it's weird I have this it's like if you if you put side by side of us like from the first live stream we'd be like oh like what happened well, how many years ago was that though? Like, what, <laughs> at least six seven years ago five, that's probably six, five years for a live stream six, five oh five years yeah, for yeah. a live stream, we didn't live stream. But still, yeah, we had hair. Like, I would even say, like in the last year, it's been yeah, in the last year, real, real stuff. Wait like, till you Dan, have your kid, buddy. The same. Wait, till you've, you've done well, to dude. Hide as soon as your, your kid comes out, your well, Dan's older. Dan was already there by time when five years ago. He hasn't changed in five years. Yeah, because he, he already have, did the changes just, when the podcast you, had started. The changes that happen when you have a kid are rapid because all of a sudden your body's like, oh, I don't need to be attractive anymore. I've succeeded. I've done yeah. what I need to do, and everything just dies and falls Finished. off. You know what's, you know what's a funny? You know what's a that's job is done. I don't yeah. like I don't I like hearing now. that because I feel like my body has always said that. <laughs> yeah, right, it's, right. It's like, always giving up. I've just... always like held weight in weird spots, and I'm like, even when I was like fat, skinny, when yeah, I was but... like in high school and stuff, like I still had love handles. Yeah, but you got to understand, like you still have to. You were like, skinny you, in you high school. You have to do things. Like you love have to handles. like try and eat good, and like, you know, that's something you I didn't, do eat good, man. You didn't, do, you didn't start earlier. doing that until like fucking. Seven years ago, the way Braden describes food, you would think he's fatter than he is. Oh yeah, uh, when he gets it, when I... he gets into his descriptions of stuff he's cooking, he gets so into Dude, it. When he, he came home, when he's he, so you guys, happy. He, when you came home from Thailand, really we had to have a conversation. I was like, I was worried about you. Oh, it's huge. No, yeah. seriously, I had to be like, buddy, listen, dude. Good. Like, I <laughs> did. I, I had a stern. I was like, buddy, you're, you're gonna die. You're gonna get diabetes. And you're gonna die. It's funny because like. My mom prefaced that conversation with that, and my mom was like, "Holy, like your your weight's getting a little out of control here." And I was like, "Get like get off my back, mom!" And Come then like on. the next day, Andrew's like, "Buddy, you gotta Whoa. do something here." And I was like, "Damn it, fuck! All right." It was because in Thailand you can eat whatever because it's like oh, nothing. It's and like, drinks and are I, so everything cheap. There is, I ate everything, what, like I the want. food there is I nothing. It's all vegetables and fish and rice and just yeah, like coated in like, fucking canola oil or whatever fucking weird. Deep fried. Oil. No, no, that's only if you're eating like the stir fry stuff. If you're eating like some tum and like chicken like every yeah, day, true. it's like you're not. Yeah, but I ate like that's there was. Like, I, it's not the I, eating I, in I Thailand; it's the drinking. Yeah, and drinking too. The, I drinking. Drinking. Uh, the well, last I did drink a bunch. <laughs> the last three days in a row for lunch, I've eaten chicken fries, ramen I made. No ramen. Uh, with a half half can of cream of mushroom stop soup and uh, like a handful of cheddar cheese. Stop! The, the what sodium. is your blood what pressure? You how is your how is the how is the yeah. sodium the is popping? The Jesus. sodium is like in the. What are your kids gonna live like to see you? Like your kids gonna fucking live to see you hit like yeah, forty five? Oh my god! Stop shit. doing that shit. It's only three days. It's Doesn't not matter. like I do it all. It's time. a slippery slope. The last three days in a row. Why are you eating the same thing three days in a row? Because so good, man. It's so good. If I made it for you, if I made it for you, I would you, need it. It's probably delicious. You'd be like, I would need you'd be like shit, that's a really good ramen. I that's definitely would really eat it. Yeah, ramen. I bet you it is. But I don't know. You I, come anywhere near me with cream of mushroom, anything, I'll tell you to fuck off. Uh, what? 
Well, that's the, that's the serious? dairy. Yeah. That's the cream. You kill him. Yeah, yeah, I got nothing to do with that shit. I really like cream. Because I can't fucking kill him. I don't like it in my green bean casserole. Like in a, in a, in something doesn't really do it for me. Like doesn't affect me too much. You know what? I'm getting the point now where I'm I'm so old that like I don't even want to eat bad anymore because it just makes me feel like shit. Like the littlest things that I eat that aren't good. Like I wanted chicken fingers, so I literally like cut up chicken breasts and dipped them in fucking egg yolk and dipped it in shredded coconut to eat. That's my chicken fingers because the other ones are actually deep fried and it hurts my tummy. I just honestly myself to like fast food. So Andrew Andrew's got the soft tummy here. I got a bitch tummy. Anything. I got a bitch ass tummy. You know where really lacks in chicken fingers? Like if we're getting on the topic of chicken fingers, (laughs) sure. uh, A and A and W chicken fingers suck. Oh, yeah, terrible, terrible, man. Like, what the fuck? I was like, how can you have such good burgers, such good everything else, and you have the most lacking, soggy, fucking mush? Because they're not wait, chicken wait, fingers. And, oh, never mind. Yeah, you don't know about that, do you, Dan? It's a disgrace a to the chubby chicken here. name. We used to have a and Canadian. Like, at least one where I lived. A&W's but we don't Canadian, have pal. What? Really? Yeah. You guys don't have A&W? It's Canadian. We used, to, we used to have one. We used to have an A&W, like, restaurant thing in the mall. Uh, near where I grew up, but uh, used to go in there sometimes. But uh, like, I never really like get food. I think I got, like root beer floats there. Is really man. Awesome. I'm well, trying to think. Of, oh, I think you're missing it. You remember I think, I think uh, chili dog there once? I think it, you remember the movie. The movie She's the Man. Mm, yeah, no. Jessica Bynes or something like that. I feel like that's a Freddie Prince Jr. We were wor- all know. of us were probably working in the movie theaters at the same time when this movie came out. Um. Amanda Bynes, Jessica Bynes, something like that. She's in it. Channing Tatum's in it. Oh, yes. Right? Yes. She pretends yeah, to be yeah, her yeah. brother, like yeah. Sebastian, play soccer. I was watching that. Yeah. Fucking A&W guy's in it. The big fat guy? The little fat guy. Like the... Like the really? man- yeah. manager guy, whoever you're yeah, supposed to Yeah, I was be. like telling Jess, I was like, the A&W guy. She's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, fuck it. That's all you need to know. I'm getting a beer from outside the door. That's interesting because that just means he's an actor and he won the role of A and W guy to pretend he's the CEO. I literally thought he was the A and W guy. He is the A. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he is now. Like, you know what I mean? No, he's an actor. Well, now he is. Well, just like fucking uh, Jesus. I can't believe. Just like I'm Jesus forgetting now. fucking George. What's George's real name? God damn it. Costanza? Yeah, what's George? Jason Alexander. Costanza. Jason Alexander. He was a McDonald's guy for a bit. Really? Yeah. Do you, you remember that commercial where he's walking in that white suit? No. Oh, fuck. That's a good commercial. Same build, everything is the fucking A&W guy. A&W guy. Alan Lulu. Oh fuck! <laughs> Unreal. Uh, I thought he was a. I what a ripoff! I believed he was the fucking A and W guy. Yeah, I'll be right He's back. Not at all. Two seconds. Two seconds. Oh god, yeah. he's a he's a handsome man. He was in tons of movies. He was Bruce Almighty, <laughs> Evan Almighty, Bugbuster, Charlie Grace, The Brainiacs. Hmm. I've heard of two of those movies. <laughs> Yeah, yes. <laughs> so going right over my head. <laughs> but the other one's like direct to video. <laughs> yeah, probably. He really peaked in like '95 to 2000. Then yeah. he kind of fell off. Then I guess he just went into commercials. Yeah, it's kind of got to the point. Commercials like, played probably of... pay pretty good. Yeah, I don't get, I don't get a lot of fast food anymore because it's like too expensive, man. I go to fucking Wendy's and I just want a burger, fry, like a regular drink, and like you know a meal, like a value meal. It's like ten bucks. Like, oh fuck, yeah. Yeah, it's Jesus. Like, yeah, it's it's quite pricey. It's kind of nuts. Honestly, like it's just a treat like once a month. They like go the eat. The only, like, the only fast food place that's worth the money. Like if you're talking about like you want to eat fast food and you don't want to pay any money, Burger King. For some reason, Burger King has like yeah. they were just like their CEO was like fuck inflation. Eight burgers, three dollars. <laughs> they do right? some like, weird deals, right? Oh. It's like you can get two whoppers and a chicken fries for five bucks. Remember Pick we, any three, still. all three of you want, whatever you want. Remember when we got all those nuggets? Oh, oh, buddy, that was. Oh like, yeah, they had that deal yeah, for a while. It was like one hundred nuggets. Listen, for we like 20 we got like we got like fifty nuggets for whatever. And we watched Game yeah. of we marathon Game of Thrones at fucking Brain's place when he lived at the Montreal Court. 
And after oh, yeah. that, he had to throw away his coach. <laughs> for real. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you wanna watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.